Democrats are doing, while over there in the House, the Republicans are just racing to the bottom. We also capped the price of insulin for seniors on Medicare to $35 a month, spurring major companies like Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk to follow suit. And millions of people who buy their health insurance on the ACA exchanges are now saving hundreds, hundreds of dollars each month. Indeed, we are lowering costs. That it wants you to claim this relief now, and millions of people residing in several states are missing out on another payment from the federal government. If you are a part-time worker or a senior citizen, you will likely qualify for one of these checks. Nearly 1.5 million Americans that could be owed a share of the unclaimed tax refunds are going to get the stimulus cash, because according to the IRS, the outstanding funds are worth almost $1.5 billion, with an average payout of 900 bucks. Typically, there is a three-year deadline to claim refunds before the cash becomes property of the U.S. Treasury. But because of the crisis, there has been an extension for the tax returns. It means taxpayers have until July 17 to claim the money back. And according to the IRS, Texas residents are owed the most, with an estimated 135,000 residents in this state sitting on an average of $924. It's totaling over $141 million. The state-by-state -state breakdown calculated by the agency shows that California residents have the second highest sum of possible refunds, with $141 million potentially owed to 145,000 people. Florida comes in third with a median projected refund of $893 for about 90,000 residents. And the IRS predicts that about 81,000 New Yorkers could be owed almost $87 million, while people living in Illinois could be sitting on about $57 million in unclaimed cash. The state with the lowest sum of unclaimed tax refunds is Vermont, where 3,100 people could be eligible for just over $3 million in refunds. The average amount of money that could be owed is slightly over the national, median, and $901, because according to the agency, students, part-time workers, and seniors often overlook... Older adults just worry that the payments that are currently receiving will be cut by a looming shortfall in the federal program. It's important to understand that old age survivors and disability insurance affects not just seniors but also workers who develop disabilities in families in which a spouse or parent dies. And because Social Security is funded through a payroll tax era, employers and employees each pay 6% of wages up to the taxable maximum of 160 grand. The trustees of the Social Security and Medicare reported that more than money is coming out than coming in. And without intervention, this trust fund will only have continuing tax income to pay out 77% of the scheduled payment. And starting in 2031, Medicare's hospital insurance will be able to pay 89% of the scheduled benefits for hospital services. The Disability Trust Fund is projected to be able to pay 100% of total scheduled benefits throughout at least 2097. And by the end of this year, inflation levels are reaching an all-time high and interest rates had grown considerably since the onset of the crisis, and the impact of the supply chain issue was still echoing throughout the market. And given these unanticipated disruptions, the American real estate market faced a very hard and tremulous eventful year. But people are looking for a turnaround to happen next year. Economists are predicting that interest in mortgage rates will peak again this year as well, and even a report finds that affordability is even calming as mortgage rates are slowing down. But in its efforts to report the highest inflation in decades, U.S. is actually making things better. The Federal Reserve will likely need to increase interest rates a couple more times over the course of the year to deliver a rate hike at its next scheduled meeting. Folks, what do you think that Joe Biden will do for the fourth stimulus payment? Do you believe he can get the job done in 2033 or in 2024? Happy Tuesday, everybody, and hope everyone's having a great day so far. So to get health care benefits, many of them had to hire lawyers just to prove their illnesses and then make a complicated, do a complicated legal dance to show what everyone knew, that toxic exposure from burn pits caused, caused all kinds of cancers and other diseases. That was so, so wrong. The indignity, the callousness of forcing an applicant must have worked between March 10th and May 7th of 2022 in one of, these in one of these occupations that the state has listed. Some of the frontline workers in these categories include healthcare personnel. Eligible applicants must earn at less. Some of the frontline workers in these categories include healthcare personnel, food and agricultural workers, grocery store staff, and 
public transit workers. Applicants must earn less than 150 grand per year and cannot be employed by a federal or state entity. Full-time workers who earn less than 100 grand can apply for a $1,000 grant. Those earning more than 100,000 but less than 150,000 are eligible for grants on a sliding scale, ranging as low as 200. Part-timers working less than 30 hours a week can apply for a $500 grant. The application period will run up till, until October 1st, and the goal is to process request within a 60-day window. And for, his comp for the company of Lowe's, the CEO said, then recognition of high inflation, we're providing, five, we're providing $55 million in bonuses to our hourly frontline associates this quarter. And though there has been a slight decrease in gas and travel costs, recently the impacts of inflation are still affecting Americans, making it tougher for families to afford groceries and other essential goods. Microsoft, ExxonMobil, Walmart, USA have also offered bonuses, pay raises, and even gift cards to employees. But still, many of the, but still many of the nation's employees, employers are still not paying their workers a living wage. The company website states that Lowe's employs around 300,000 associates, but it's not specified how much money each worker, each worker will receive and over what time period. White House and administration and Democrats up on Capitol Hill. Uh, earlier today, both the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, and the Senate Republican leader, the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, were on CNBC and they explained really the fundamental philosophical dilemma here, uh, which is all about how much is the U.S. government going to spend. Here's what they said. Cock on its feet. Income tax credit. State is just urging you that all taxpayers work together on this as this can change each year. It's economy in the weeks and months. Credit. Free stimulus credit, folks, because if a taxpayer who's eligible to receive this check owes any money to the government, like a child support or unpaid parking tickets, well, the rebate amount will decrease. Also, everybody, President Biden and top lawmakers fanned out across the country this week to visit bridges that are said to be prepared with new infrastructure money. President stopped at for instance, the Brent Spent Bridge, which crosses the Ohio River, connecting Connecticut and uh, Kentucky, the event touting an infusion of repair money. Repair money going to bridges, not people. Why is it going to bridges? I have no idea, everybody. We all have to blame it on President Biden because the focus of the White House and the GOP leadership on areas of bipartisan cooperation is in marked contrast to the House representatives, as they're still struggling to enact somebody to take charge. So what I want to say is that the infrastructure law put aside $100 billion for roads and bridges, and now rural broadband, ports, and other atoms are having some difficulties around us. For instance, this week's visit coincided with the announcement that approximately $2 billion of the money will be set aside for repairs in a large bridge program, which includes the Brent Spent Bridge and three other bills that the administration describes as some of America's most economically significantly significant spans. Now, Columbia Harris, Kamala Harris also has uh, visited four drawbridge in the south side of Chicago near Illinois. She's talking about something about to repair these bridges. Yeah. Guidance can now be found on the ACCD website, accd.vermont.gov. 